this is our school. Marrow School. And we are very proud of it. We have three classrooms, a group teaching room, and an amazing colourful new library. Outside we have a tennis court, a playground, an enormous sandpit, trees and loads of grass to play on. There are many things which make our school special. If we do lots of things together that means the older kids get to help the younger ones. We have great parents who help us and share their skills with us and we have some very special traditions like the Mara Sweet Festival. School, the pupils have come up with some other ideas. The great southern vegetable is celebrated in all its forms. Our school is in the Tianau Basin on the edge of Fiordland, New Zealand's largest national park. Fiordland is world famous for its amazing mountains and lakes. It's native forest and birds including the Takahe. Our school is surrounded by farmland and many of us live on farms. Because we live here we spend a lot of our time outdoors, playing on our farms and swimming in the rivers and lakes. We really value our environment. It's important for our future. And we really like learning more about it. In 2009, our school decided to become an Enviro School. We wanted to become an Enviro School because we think it's important to care about our environment. Becoming an Enviro School means everyone learning and working together, sharing ideas and skills. Our first goal last year was to create a school veggie garden. This has been a great success with all of the classes getting involved and the Garden Gurus are still gardening club meeting regularly to do loads of fun activities. We have learnt heaps of, about growing food to eat and even more of us than before now grow our own veggies at home. What's the best thing you've done, Garden Gurus? Probably making many green greenhouses. What's the best thing you've done in Garden Gurus, Oliver? Um, probably going on the trip to plant wild chives and break up leaves to make bread and gold. What have you learnt about growing plants? I've learnt... Um, uh, what's in the soil and how to plant the seeds properly. What have you learned about plants? I learned that if we don't water plants they will die and in, in our first experiment we learned about soil and what is in it. What have room two grown so far? Well, I own it. We have grown cauliflower, lettuces and a few white turnips. Our second goal was to consider whether we could reduce our school waste. The Inquiry Learning Group introduced the idea of composting our green waste and food scraps. Leanne Kerr from WasteNet came to school and talked to us about why this was a good idea. So now we have a composting system which we're learning to maintain. Okay, you guys were in the Inquiry Learning Group. Why did the Inquiry Learning Group suggest we compost our food scraps? Uh, because most of our food scraps uh, were the most problem with our rubbish, so we decided to put it in a compost to get rid of most of our rubbish so it could go on the gardens. Okay. How does the system work in school? Um, uh, we have duties, and we have the compost duty to empty the bins and put them in the, and put the food scraps in the compost. Okay. And what will happen to the food scraps that we put into the compost then? They'll decompose and then the garden gurus can use them on the garden. It's hard to open up and this year we are really excited because we've actually become a virus school. Each class has elected two representatives to form an Enviro group. This group meets several times a term to share the ideas their classes put forward.
The Enviro Group plan to make it possible to action some of these ideas and to help the school look after the projects that we've already started. What do the Enviro Group do? We organise the rest of the school. We don't do everything ourselves. Just don't wait. What happens when you go back to classes after meetings? We, we go and tell the class what, what, what we've been doing with the meeting. Okay. And, and before we go to the Enviro Group, if somebody in the class has a good idea, when we go to the meeting, we tell the Enviro Group. Already kids, teachers and parents are talking about how we can continue to care for our environment at Maroa and think of ways we can be more sustainable. Room 1 has begun to learn about what sustainability really means. As part of our whole school inquiry about water, we have been thinking about where our water comes from and water pollution. Some pupils have also been thinking about ways we can care for the school environment in the future. So this is the beginning of our Avalo school journey. We think that this will be a great opportunity for us all to learn together about ways to look after our special environment. Our school vision is key learning for life's journey and we think that, that by learning to care for and respect our environment we know our kids will be able to be prepared for our journey into the future. Thank you. 